Hi, this is James with WP Ninjas, and today I want to show you our newest extension for Ninja Forms called Layout and Styles. Now, generally, when you install a Forms plugin for WordPress, you want to be able to create your form real fast and put it on a web page and have it look great. The problem is that's not always possible. As hard as we try is creating a great Forms plugin that just looks great immediately, sometimes themes do weird things like not style their field elements properly or take liberties to create really outlandish styles that just don't work in, in various circumstances. And so we can't always guess what, you're gonna, what they're going to do, but we assume that theme developers are trying to make conscious decisions to make great looking field elements and, st and to style all of their CSS. So Ninja Forms puts in bare bones styling just so that it can look fairly decent out of the box and not override your theme. Now when you build a form, it's going to be one column. So when we build a Ninja Form, like this simple contact form, it just comes in as one column. And all these there have, have their labels set to above, except for this one that has its field set to left, <clears throat> and a basic send button. And it's a basic form and it looks fine, but we want to make it look something a little flashier. Chances are you want it look, to look something. Maybe you want to put a first name and last name next to each other. Maybe you want to put city, state, and zip code next to each other into, in, into three columns uh, or something like that. So what I want to show you is how quickly you can do that with the layout and styles extension. In fact, what we're going to try to do is create something that looks more like this. Um, very nice, two, two columns here, three columns here, just a nice uh, layout. And we're going to try to create that real quick. And at the end of the, after the, the video is complete, I'm actually going to export this whole form with all of its styles and offer it for free for anyone who purchases the uh, layout and styles extension. And you can actually import this into your Ninja Forms install and have all of these styles available to you immediately. Uh, so it's a really great little feature. So I'm going to show you how quick we can turn this form into this form. And here's really all it takes. So first what we need to do is activate our Ninja Forms layout styles. Now you can click add new and, and, and give link to the zip and upload that. Or you can do it through FTP and just put it in your plugins directory. Now once you do that, you're just going to go ahead and activate the plugin. And when you do, you'll see a new menu called styling. But before we go there, we're going to actually go to our, all of our forms and click our contact form. And you'll see we have a new tab called layout and styles. So as I click on Layout and Styles, you'll see this kind of representation of all of the fields that we had created in our contact form. So there's first name, last name, email, mobile number, home address, things like that. Uh, but when the form Layout and Styles, it looks a little bit like this. And the reason it does is so that we can kind of create a dynamic layout. We can actually sort these by dragging them around if we want and move them around uh, and save those that those uh, changes that we make. But what we want to do is create uh, a column. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose one of these options to create my form. In this case I'm going to create four columns. Now if I save this, this isn't exactly what I'm looking for. Uh, you know, I can save that and it kind of automatically puts it in the four columns, which is cool. I kind of like that. But you can see there's some issues here with the message bleeding over. Uh, and that's simply because some of the default stylings on some of these items. So I can actually change this really easily. So first of all, I want to put first name and last name on the same line, but spanning, you know, about half the, the shape. So, you know, two columns. So if I do this, I have last name, first name. Let's do the same thing with email and mobile phone. Let's take home address and let's actually resize that. Uh, city can take two columns. State and zip looks good. Uh, we'll go ahead and do the same thing with the message because we really want that to span all of them. And the spam message. We'll go ahead and span that across all four columns. And I like the send button just like that. Now if I just save that layout and refresh the page, well now I'm getting something a lot closer to what I want. And now we can go into some of the styling. I have my layout in place, but you know, I like these columns, but I'd like these input fields to actually fill up the column a little bit so it doesn't look so odd. These so separated, so much, uh, so much of a gap. So here's where we're going to start setting up our default layout styles. So let's go over to styling, and let's start by uh, styling some of these input fields. So what we're going to do is we're going to edit our field type styles. Uh, actually, let's just do default fields, and we want to do a few things. First of all, we want the width of those to be a hundred percent. So that's that's one thing we want. Uh, we also want, well, let's just see what that looks like. Wow, that looks great already, doesn't it? Uh, fills in all the fields really quickly. 
I like that. Let's go ahead and add some background now color to our form. So let's go to form styles. This is our for the entire form, the wrapper for the entire form. Let's go ahead and give it a background color. We'll just go ahead and pick that one. Um, let's go ahead and give it a border, a good like 20 pixel border. We'll do it solid. And that border color, we'll use the same base, but we're going to go ahead and darken it up quite a bit. And just for the heck of it, I'm going to copy this because I think I'm going to use this later. Uh, let's save that. All right, we're getting there. But I don't like this dark color on the form background, and I don't like how everything is bunched right up against the edge. So let's go ahead and make a few more tweaks. Let's say the text color. Let's make the text color white for that container. And let's add so get some advanced properties showing. And we see we have margin and padding. Let's give some padding. This is white space on the inside of this box. Let's go ahead and save that and see what we can come up with. Wow, that looks a lot better. And you can see we're already getting much closer to this style that we looked at earlier. Um, I'm liking the way things are turning out. Uh, let's just make a few more modifications. We're all set. We had some borders around these fields to kind of make them stand out. What if we did something like that? Well, in this case, we don't want the f this to apply to all fields because if we did it to here, then even our submit button would actually end up with this border. So we're actually going to go to field types, and I'm going to do it to the text box. We're going to add some styles to that. We're going to give that a five pixel border, solid, and I copied this color earlier for the border, and we're going to save that, but we also want to apply that to our text area, so we're going to do the same thing to that one, 10 pixels, solid, and our border color, we'll save that. And then finally, we also want to kind of do that to our spam box. There's a few other things I'd like to do the spam too, though, because I don't necessarily want this to be 100%. I still want it to float left. Now, because I chose 100%, it can't float left. It'll just come, it'll just wrap down to the bottom. But I chose left alignment, and I want that. So we're going to override our default field settings with our field type settings uh, here. So what we'll do is we'll add the border, just like we did before. But now I'm going to actually change the width of this item to say um, 60%. And I'm going to actually float this item to the right of that whole container. Now if we save our settings. Awesome. Now you can see we have those, those borders. This is floating to the right, but it's still a left aligned label. I like that. Notice I did must have added an, uh, a thicker pixel, a, a 10 pixels to the message, so I can fix that. We'll just go back to our text area. Instead of 10, go back to five. Perfect. And there we go. Very quickly, we've created a simple form. Now, you notice that the drop down doesn't have this label. Uh, we can actually change that by going to the specific form layout that we were looking at. So, we go to all of our forms, click Edit. We have some more power where we can actually style things individually. So, I can go to this style state drop down. And in here, I'm going to go ahead and try to give it some really good uh, specific styling. This will override anything else that seems to be stopping it from being applied uh, to that particular state drop down. I also want to increase its height a little bit. I'll say 34 pixels for now, just so that it looks like it's the same width as the other fields. And we'll go ahead and save this. Great. Now the 34 pixels wasn't quite quite right, so I'm gonna actually increase that to 38 pixels because I want to get it to look almost as wide as the, at least as wide as the other fields that we go have going on. So I'll change that to 38 pixels. Save that, and voila! And there we go. We've created this form. Oh, I missed something. Notice that this has a uh, rounded border. Now for people with more advanced CSS, there's some things that you can do there as well. I can go ahead and open up my modify form styles. And I have advanced properties, and this is my container style just for this form. 
I can actually go down here to the advanced CSS properties and because I know CSS and I know border radius is what I want I can do border radius uh, we'll do 10 pixels just to give it a nice bold uh, curve on each of these corners so border radius colon 10 pixels just like you would write a normal CSS statement and we save that nope. and it did not work let me see what I did wrong there border radius 10 pixels let's go ahead and save that and save that that's probably what I missed great so I saved my form layout styles and we have this form perfectly made and now this took us a few minutes to make as I explained it all but it, without explaining it I could have ran through this and created this whole form layout uh, probably within you know less than a minute just to kind of run in and make a few changes and that's how easy it is to create layouts now if I wanted to do something a little different with this you know I could easily say um, say I wanted to put these into four columns I can go ahead and resize all of these and, you know, the, until they get to right where I want them. And you notice they'll get bigger, and then when they get, they're as big as they can get, they get smaller. But I can go ahead and save that, and then instantly I'm created with this four column. So first name, last name, email, mobile. So it's really easy to create these really dynamic layouts with this extension. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you consider purchasing it. And uh, kind of as a free bonus, I'll help you set up your default styles for your own site. If you purchase the extension, more than happy to help you. You can just submit a ticket in our support forums, and we'll get you set up right away. Super fast, super easy. You can export and import these form styles and your default settings uh, across your personal sites, across your client sites. makes it very easy to do rapid, really nice styling of your form. So if you've ever had a problem with form styling before, this will solve all of your problems. Hope you enjoy it and I hope you purchase the extension and I uh, hope to talk to you guys in the forums. Thanks a lot.